Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and I wanted to um, talk about one thing that I see a lot of uh, uh, newbies out there have problems with and it's identifying what you're listening to on the internet. And a lot of you are using different websites so there's you know often different options and different stations and where it probably is a problem sometimes is because there's many stations on the same frequency and people don't really know exactly what they're listening to. There are some rules on shortwave and uh, of course there are frequencies and things that you can't receive at a certain times of the day. For example, if a frequency is a very low frequency, say 6 megahertz, and it has to cross daylight to go to your location several thousand miles, well, it probably is not the station you're listening to because in mid-daylight, it's a frequency that doesn't propagate. Pretty much the same uh, for a 13-meter band frequency. Say you're listening to 21525, but it's 2 a.m. in the morning or midnight and it's dark outside, there's a chance that it might not be what you think it is if that's where, you know, if it has to cross darkness bad. Now, it's not totally 100% true, but if you follow some certain rules, one of the ways to actually identify is uh, using, of course, the language of what you're listening to, and that is very, very important. So, for example, I might be listening right now to a station on, um, you know, 96.990, which is Spain. It's in Spanish. So I, of course, go to my favorite list, which is, um, you know, the uh, EIBI space list. And then you look at the list and you look at what time it is. Very important. You got to know what time it is. So, you know, uh, in UT UTC. I see a lot of you still using a lot of your local times. Do use... UTC. It's very important. Try to mind yourself in using universal time. So you are listening to this station um, and it's 20, you know, some hours UTC. Well, look at what is broadcasting at a specific uh, 9690 at 20 UTC. So is there just one transmission available or many? So here there's just one in this case, which is Radio Exterior de España in Spanish. But in some cases, sometimes you might, you know, find yourself in a time where there's more than one station that operates at that frequency at that time. So when that happens, it's the way that you have to actually identify and try to find out what you're listening to. If more than one station is broadcasting on a specific frequency at the time you're listening to, well, what you'll have to do is try to use to use a deduction, a way of trying to say, okay, this cannot be that station for a certain reason. And of course, the language is very important. The language will often give it away. So if you hear or if you see on a frequency, there's three or four stations broadcasting at the same time, because it's possible on shortwave, stations can broadcast on the same frequency at the same time to different target audiences and the different target areas most of the time won't interfere with each other so they can happen but it might happen that you uh, are wondering okay but what is it that i'm listening to if it's not that an example here is i often hear radio voz missionaria from brazil here it's on 9664.9 now i know how to check if it's on that frequency so for me it's kind of not a challenge but for most of you, and especially if you have a portable radio, you'll be on 9665, and you'll hear something. And this one is 24 hours. How do you, you know, make sure that it's that and not something else? Well, you might be listening, for example, to uh, it. May, it might be, you know, 15 hours UTC, and you say, "Well, I'm hearing something. How do I know if it's China Radio International here, or Radio Voz Missionaria because it's a 24-hour schedule?" Uh, anything else is broadcasting at 15 hours UTC. So if there's more than one choice, then you'll have to learn how to identify languages. That's probably one of the important things on shortwave. Understanding what language you're listening to. At first, it's a little tricky. Some languages do kind of look alike. But at 
as time goes by, you'll eventually learn how to differentiate, you know, Portuguese from Spanish, from French, from English, and so on. And that's where it's going to be important. So if you definitely can ID that it's Portuguese, then you know it's Radio Voice Missionaria because it's actually the only Portuguese broadcast on that frequency. The uh, language might be something else, maybe something you don't kind of know what it is. Well, it could be China Radio in that language here. Um, it's, it's you know, uh, really, really important to try to uh, narrow down the choices by using time, by using frequency, and by using language. So here at 15 UT, you would have as a choice China Radio and Radio Voz Missionaria. There's nothing else when you look at the list on 9665 that is at 15 UT. So you just narrow down two stations. Now, is it Portuguese or something else? If it's Portuguese, you know it's Brazil. If it's something else, probably China Radio. That is kind of the way that you will use to try to find what you are listening to. Because the same thing is going to happen on any other website. So, for example, here I use lists, but if you use shortwave.info, you might see it appear on a map with different languages and different transmission zones. So, at 15UT, for example, at shortwave.info, you'll see two transmitters. You'll see that there's two stations. Once again, you'll have to identify which one is the most probable. And, you know, as time goes by, you'll understand also that uh, 9665 might not propagate from a certain area to your area during a certain period of time in the day. But, you know, that's experience. As time goes by and you do more and more listening, you'll eventually um, find out a, a little more details on propagation. Uh, it's going to be the subject of the live show tomorrow, by the way, on uh, uh, Wednesday, November 27th. Um, so we will, of course, um, do some you know exercise, tune signals, and then go online and um, identify them by looking at schedules to kind of help out and help everybody understand how you can you know, identify a station you're listening to. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.